Good afternoon everyone, Maria here from the Mooney Valley Libraries. Welcome to the 6 Plus Club Halloween STEM Challenge. It's great to have you here with me today. Before we begin, I would like to do an acknowledgement of country. We are together on the land of the Wurundjeri Woiwurrung and we would like to acknowledge the ancestors who have taken care of country, land, waterway and sky. We are one with this land. soda, 100 mils of warm water, some food colouring and a texture to mark your pumpkin. And now it's time to draw a face on our pumpkin. But before we do that, we need to draw a circle on the top of the pumpkin because we need to cut that out so we can hollow it out. So, a nice big circle. And now we need two eyes. I like to use triangles. And for the mouth, I like to give it a jagged look. It's just a little bit scarier. There's our top, there's our face. And now it's time to carve. Now, I'm using a very sharp knife. So remember to get mum or dad or an older sibling to help you with this bit. So here we go. What you need to do is push your knife all the way through. And we'll just make it a bit easier to carve and just follow the line around. Please be careful. I'll keep my hand around this side and just continue to carve around. We're nearly there. And once you've carved all the way around, It should be easy to take the top off. And there you go. Let's have a look inside. It's quite hollow, but we'll need to take all that out. Now, let's carve out the eyes and the mouth. So once again, please be careful. The same principle, make sure your knife goes all the way through and let's go. It's going to pop out. One eye out. And now let's do the second eye. There's the second eye coming out. And now it's time to cut out the mouth. 
this is the tricky bit. So I'll see you back here in a moment. Last bit. Here we go. And here comes the mouth. And there we go. Now the fun part. Now it's time to take out the pulp from inside the pumpkin. So get your hands in there and pull out as much as you can. Now, and pop it into a bowl. We're going to keep those seeds And I'll show you what to do with them after this. You can also use a spoon to scrape out the inside of your pumpkin. To help you remove the pulp and the seeds. Making a bit of a mess here, but that's okay. When you get to a certain stage, probably get your hand in there. Oh, look at that, that's so lovely. Keep going until all the pulp has been removed. Have a look at that. And there we have it. Now, let's get on with our experiment. Now it's time to put all our ingredients together. Let's start off with 100 mils of warm water. Now I don't know if you can see this, but the water level is on 100. This is used to measure liquids. So we're using 100 millilitres. It goes all the way up to one litre. 1,000 millilitres equals one litre. But for today, we're only using 100 mils. So let's, let's pour that into a container. The next ingredient, and I'm going to be using some measuring spoons. If you don't have any of these, you can just use the spoons you have around the house. Next is one tablespoon of washing liquid, washing soap. So, let's fill that up all the way to the top and pour that in with our water. So I'm just going to use my finger to scoop that out into our container. Next, we'll be using two tablespoons of bicarbonate of soda and its scientific name is sodium bicarbonate and it's also known as baking soda and it's used in cooking and cleaning. So we need two tablespoons of bicarbonate of soda. Here we go. One. Next, we're going to use our food colouring. And I think we'll put in about one teaspoon. But of course, you can put in more, depending 
on how dark you want your mixture. And now it's time to mix it all up. Grab a spoon. There's my mixture. And mix it up. Keep mixing. That's what it should look like. And now for the fun, messy part. Do you remember our ingredients? We've got water. We've got dishwashing liquid. We've got bicarbonate of soda and we've got some food colouring. Now, there's one ingredient missing. Do you remember? White vinegar. Now, bicarbonate of soda reacts with acids. Vinegar is an acid. What do you think is going to happen? Let's have a look. Now, this can get a bit messy so if it's a nice day, maybe you can go outside or you can do what I've done. I've put some sheeting down. So here we go. Let's take off the top of our pumpkin and we're going to pour our mixture. Now nothing much happens here at this stage. Now we need 200 mils of the vinegar. So we had 100 mils of warm water. This is double that measurement. do this. Ready everyone? Here we go. Here's our vomiting pumpkin. Wow. Give it a go everyone. Well, that was a fun experiment. I hope you get a chance to try that out for yourselves. As you can see, I've tidied up a bit. Remember the pulp from the pumpkin? I'm gonna show you what you can do with that now. There we go. There's the pulp. It's quite wet and mushy. And as you can see, you have some pumpkin seeds. I'm going to show you how to dry them out. Fill up your bowl with water. Have a look at that. Now the fun part. You'll need paper towels or a tea towel, some cardboard or paper towels, to dry up your seeds. Here we go. So what we need to do is separate the seeds from the pulp. Now it's a lot of fun and once you've filled up your bowl with water the seeds, a lot of the seeds just sort of float to the top so it shouldn't be too hard but as I said it's a lot of fun and so once you you have your seeds, pop them onto a tea towel, spread them out and leave them to dry overnight. And this is something fun to do when you're bored. Keep going until you've separated all the seeds from the pulp. 
and here are the seeds drying off on my tea towel. I like to pat them down just to dry them off a bit. And then transfer them over to some cardboard. Make sure you spread them out. Here are our pumpkin seeds. Wow, so many seeds from one pumpkin. Now what you need to do is leave them to dry for seven to 10 days. Once dry, you can store them in an envelope ready to plant next year between May to June. Alternatively, you can leave them to dry overnight, pop them into a bowl with some olive oil and sea salt, mix it all up, lay them out onto a cooking tray, turn the oven on to 200 degrees Celsius and cook for 15 to 20 minutes or when they look lightly browned. Take them out, pop them into a bowl and when cool, you can enjoy them as a nutritional snack. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the session. Hope to see you next time. Bye.